Now I know a lot of believers, a lot of Christians who do not study the Bible. Why? Not because they don't value the Bible or don't think it's a good thing to read. They will come occasionally with scripture and say, oh, look at this one and they'll be blessed by it. And that's wonderful. But it's occasional, it's not often. And it's because they don't read the Bible often. See, the joy and the blessing what you get from reading scripture is so wonderful that I don't know why people don't study. But life is busy. Family, children, work, sports, your movies, your whatever in life that, you know, social media, whatever it is that takes up your time, you don't have much time left over for the study of God's Word. And that's a shame. But what happens if you don't study God's Word? What's the downside? What's the problem if you don't study God's Word? Well, let me tell you. Many reasons why. One is, if you don't study God's Word, you won't know properly what the Lord does for you. How you should live your life. Because the Bible is supposed to be that which dictates how you live your life. What you believe, how you think, how you act, how you behave, your relationships, your marriage, how you are as an employee or as a boss, how you are in, with your neighbors, how you are with people who hate you, how you respond to them and deal with them. What happens in marriage if you have a problem with your wife or husband? How you deal with that? What happens to the children? How you deal with them? A stupid, horrible boss who gets on your nerves. How do you do it? Everything about you, every single area of your life must be dictated by the Word of God. If you don't read it, how do you know? How are you going to know how to please God so you can live a life that pleases God? How are you going to develop your faith and grow and be strong as a believer if you don't know what the Bible says? How are you going to ward against false teachers, false doctrines when they come your way? You will hear them, and it sounds good because it's in the mouth of somebody eloquent, somebody who's got a big reputation, you know, see them on TV or whatever, and you think, yeah, 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 amen. And you will say all that because it sounds credible out of the mouth of that person, but they may be a false teacher. You don't know any wiser because you cannot identify error if you don't know the truth. If you know the truth and the error comes, you go, no, 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 the Bible doesn't say that. If you don't know what the Bible says, you just say yes, amen to anything. And then you're deceived. These are many, many more reasons why you must read and study the Scriptures. Not just read, but study the Scriptures. The Scriptures are more than your necessary food, as one prophet said. So study it. It's good for you.